Alright, welcome back to Cooking With Legs. Video hiatus. Reason? Tried to use a new gimbal. Lesson learned, do not use new equipment holding a phone or a camera over a pot of hot boiling liquid. Bad idea. But, we're back. Now, that all of that out of the way, what are we cooking today? Hmm. Ramen noodles. I know a lot of you guys watching or will watch probably survived on this at one point in time or another. I knew people in the wrestling team when I was in high school that would slam a pack or two of these before weighing to try and make weight. I know some people in college that uh, literally survived on this for their entire college career. So I'm sure no one's a stranger to these things. 20 cents a pack. Interestingly enough, each packet of this is two servings. Per serving, 720 milligrams of sodium. Welcome to the world of money. You're going to never decay. The archaeologists in 10,000 years are going to find your body and you're still going to look the same. Um, calories though, 190 calories per serving. So not bad from a calorie standpoint. You think of it that way. That said, I'm not using the um, seasoning pack in there, just the noodles. I'm going to cook the noodles in just plain water, drain them, rinse them. I want to get all the starch out of it. I want to get, I want to, I just want the noodle and uh, I don't want them gooey. I have some frost stock that I bought that just comes in a jar or bottle rather box. Um, it's kind of like, you normally want to use bone broth or make broth for something like this. So if you're making pho at home or Vietnamese or a Japanese bean uh, noodle soup, this is kind of a cross between the two. And uh, so if you take Japanese noodle soup and pho, put them together, you're gonna have what I'm gonna do. I mean, it's my version of all of this stuff. And a weeknight version of that, because making the stock should take 12 to 14 hours, probably. To do it right and to do it well. A, I don't have that time. B, I'm an hour and a half from the nearest international market that has the seasonings that I need to make to do this the right way. So, thank you local grocery store for having pho uh, broth or bone broth. Your local store should have it. It's a little more than regular broth. It has a little more seasoning in it, or a little, it's seasoned a little better. I'm gonna use that, um, and then basically just cook the noodles, and on the side, I'm gonna go ahead and just have a plate of vegetables, or, or toppings like you would have in any fire restaurant. I've got uh, bean sprouts, I'm gonna have some uh, red cabbage, some creamy mushrooms that I'm gonna just cook, in the, cook down in a pan. I don't want the mushrooms to cook in the soup, I want those to cook separately so that they don't absorb the liquid. And uh, I'm also going to have some steak. Um, most important part of that. And we're going to slice the steak, steak thin so that when you take a bite, you're not you're getting a piece of chewy chewiness. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing tonight. I'm also going to prep the wings for tomorrow. I've got to cut all, cut the, separate the flat from the, the drum. Back to tonight, the steak, I have seasoned, I have uh, marinated right now. I set that up yesterday and that uh, is marinated in some soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, garlic, ginger and a little bit of a hot pepper like a thai chili pepper so that's sitting there and I'm, that's not going to get touched till after the noodles are done pretty much because it's only going to cook it's thin two minutes aside slice it thin done so anyway this is going to be an easy 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 weeknight meal that you can make any way you want you set it up family style with all the toppings in the middle and everybody can just grab what they want to grab and you take all the pressure off of you cooking for the family and let them make their own plate it's that simple and it's fun. People generally love this kind of thing. You can eat it with the chopsticks, you can eat it with a laser spoon, or just like we're gonna use a regular American spoon. No reason to get offensive it. Anyway, you guys uh, enjoy watching this and thank you all for watching and have a nice day. I always thought purple carrot cabbage was pretty. And with the leeks, I usually wrap off the top and I'll come down, cut it in half, take the outside layer off just like your onion. And if 
here I can just julienne it. I'm gonna cook half of it in with the uh, you know, with the stock with the mushrooms, and the other half I'm just gonna have sitting on the side raw. People put in the soup if they want. So again, the white part you cut very thin. And the other half I'm gonna cut on an angle. I want that to be, add a little texture. All right, so before we put the steak, I'm gonna go ahead and cook that little batch of vegetables I set on the side. That's just leeks. All right, that's leeks, mushroom, and some green onion. All right, so vegetables are prepped. All we're getting now is cook the steak, the noodles, and the, and the uh, broth. Not much at all. Steak will take two minutes. It's gonna get the cast iron nice and hot, throw it down there, just put a nice sear on it. I do not wanna cook it all the way. Even if you wanted to well, like well done steak, you don't wanna cook it all the way because the broth is gonna be nice and hot, and that's gonna finish the cooking process. I'm just doing this to sear in the juices. So I'm gonna cook the steak first, then I'll go ahead and finish the noodles and the uh, broth while the steak is cooling or resting. Did have some bacon fat sitting there, so I went ahead and put some of that in the pan. And again, these are just going to cook for about a total of two minutes, maybe a minute aside. Once I dropped them, I did cover them with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder, uh, but they were already, uh, as I said before, marinated well. So once the steaks were uh, nice and seared on both sides, I went ahead and pulled them out, set them to rest on the cutting board, and then got started with the uh, noodles and the broth. You do with this, you do want to make sure you cut across the bias and it's thin. So you want to have a decent slicing knife. You don't want, you don't want thick pieces in there. If you look, it's nice and medium, I guess, which is a little more cooked than I like. And this is the way I generally do it. Basics is done, but let the person who's eating put in the uh, soup what they'd like. <laughs> 